It's another gorgeous day in Kentucky. Come along with me today. I've got a horse farm to show you. We know this lady down the road who's got a horse farm in Taylor County, which isn't very far from here. This horse farm needs nothing. It has everything. It's got the barn and the paddocks and the double fencing and the centaur fence and all that stuff. I want to show it to you. I'm pretty excited about it. Why not come along and have a fun ride with me today? Someone you know, your big buddy Brad. Hold on, it's a long one. And I'm gonna show you the spring too. You gotta see the spring. It's probably the largest spring I've ever seen ever. Please like and comment and subscribe. I wanna make sure you get all our properties, whether they're in town houses or they're farms or whatever. I wanna make sure that you're gonna see them all. Hold tight. High five. Oh, there we go, good boy. I'm gonna to talk to you today about your dreams. Everybody's got a moonshot dream, right? Well, what are you waiting for? I'll tell you what, tomorrow is promised to no one. I'm showing you that house because Cindy and I used to own that house. It was a great place. We've been investing here in Campbellsville for, oh, probably uh, 20 years or more. We've got some commercial properties here, here in Campbellsville, Kentucky. As you saw from the aerials, this is a 22 plus acre place. It's a horse facility. You don't have to use it as horses. You could use it for anything, but you're out in the country, you're close to everything. And that's the reason I'm doing the drive up. I wanna show you that there's, you know, there's civil people here and nice things. You think Sam Walton looks down his nose at, at people in Kentucky or Alabama or West Virginia. There's great places everywhere in this country. It's just, where do you wanna live? with a nice low cost of living, real gentle culture. I've got a little bit of a head cold, so if I sound a little weird, that's all right. Campbellsville is home to Campbellsville University, of course. That's City Lake, it's about 80 acres, I believe. And there's a big park down here. Uh, we're gonna go past the hospital, which is right under that water tower on the left. And I wanna show you everything that Campbellsville is. I gotta go slow here. Got to Popo. Uh -huh. I hope you don't pull me over. Talk about texting and driving. How about video and driving? That would be really bad. You're just a couple miles outside of town. You know all the crap that's going on? People doing weird stuff. People saying crazy stuff. I think to myself, what's wrong with people? Like, do they have nothing better to do? They just make this shit up? Like, what are you doing? And I think about it, I don't feel sorry for anybody. You gotta live the life you wanna live. I'm not saying I'm a great architect of my life, but I do what I wanna do. This is all the regional medical center here. You know, it's small, but it's big enough to have lots and lots of jobs. It's on both sides of the road. But you have to create your own place, your own life. And that's what we've done. We're out in the country. All these people doing crazy stuff. I just think to myself, gosh, if you had a farm to go to at night, you'd chill the f out. That's what we do. We come home, we work hard, and then we play hard. I jump out of bed, boom, I'm hitting the ground running. Grab my tea and rock and roll. Then I do as many things for as many people as I can. Hopefully they appreciate it. I know you all do. But then it comes five o'clock, six o'clock, and we're done. Go back to the house, kick your shoes off, chill out. Campbellsville's got everything. It's got the lake, 8,200 acre Green River Lake. That lake is amazing. It's a trophy bass fishing tournament lake. They've got a country club. They got the university. Equidistance to uh, Lexington, Louisville, and Bowling Green. Those are uh, top three or four. One, two, and four or one, two, and three cities in Kentucky. Bowling Green's kind of a weird name, but if you've ever seen a Corvette, or if you've ever driven a Corvette, or if you've even dreamt about a Corvette, every Corvette ever made is made right here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. You got good land out here in Taylor County. You can see all the corn, soybeans, and then the farms right here on the left with the blackboard fence. And a vacuum cleaner guy, repair man right next door. It's got that Centaur far, uh, blah, blah. It's got that centaur fence everywhere. It's possibly the world's best horse fence. 
a, a running buffalo can't run through it. Window. You got brick pillars, iron gate, little keypad. I can't show you what the code is. It's very super secret. When you live here, you can have your own super secret code. I'll keep out the joke. Oh gosh, I probably can't say that. Like and subscribe if you love to just watch these with me and definitely get on our home finder. We'll send you properties just like this before they hit the market. Anyway, the place is a show place. It needs absolutely nothing. What does it need? Nothing. So this fence is on, on this side. I'll show you later. There's double fence, just in case the horses get out of this fence. Back here where the horses are, there's another fence. So that's really important if you got real fancy horses. Maybe it's not that important if you got your mother-in-law in there or whatever you want her to leave. But this is a big track here. I can't remember what she said, two thirds of a mile or something like that. They were throwing so much information at me. You know, this is this and this is this and this is this. I said, heck, I can't keep up with all this stuff. I'm old and I got a head cold too. 1850 on the house. Roof is straight as an arrow. I've been bouncing around on it. I'm 280 pounds. It passes the hippopotamus test. I'm just going to park here like I own a joint. I was being all polite earlier. Well, heck with that stuff. They're pretty particular, which is a good thing. Makes, makes for good sellers. We tease about these things being car sheds, carports or whatever, until I drove in one the other day and I was like, oh, I like this. It's easy. Hey, they got these Arlo things. Here, check this out. Now you just, it's just a magnet. And, and it lasts like 30 days, so you can see what's going on. It comes 4K to your phone. I think it's pretty cool. I said, I don't want to pay every month. I said, no, you don't have to pay every month. All right, so just back here real quick. I'm going to show you. There's the garden shed. Hey! How y'all doing? He's on the speakerphone. That's the tool shed. That's the garden shed. And, of course, the big barn, Gambrell roof. And that deck is going to be just fantastic. I'm going to go in. I'm going to, Heck, I'm just going to go in this way. Another keypad thing. Two-car garage. And yes, it fits two cars, but they got some stuff here, just like you and I would have. Okay, let's go on in. It's really weird. Got a window up there and a weird window down there. I'm not going to ask any questions. I try not to ask any questions about people because people are weird. Except us, right? Except me and you. We're normal. This has got a lot of history to this house. I can't be even begin to remember a quarter of the story she told me about it. When you come here, Ken will share all these stories with you. But they think, you know, 1850, they didn't have a kitchen in the house. They had an outside kitchen. And then they think that they put this on as a kitchen and made this fireplace. There's gas logs in there. Perfect. Turn them on, shut them off. And this is kind of like a, a den area. So let's get into the meat of all this stuff. Like five or six bedrooms. So we'll talk to you about that later. I can show you all that stuff. Pretty modern, futuristic cabinets. The people who had this, well, since they built it, have been wealthy people. These, these people, she's a doctor. So they've always had nice things. So when they updated or upgraded, then you get nice stuff. I'm just going to show you, this is like all back outwards of the way I normally show you. I'm coming in the back door and all that stuff. Here's the pantry. I cannot show you in the laundry room under penalty of death because she said she would kill me and I believe her. You have to believe a woman who says that. You've seen Fargo, right? Bathroom. Huge shower. Whoa, hey, watch yourself. I just, I think I just foobarred that. Look at that, like how weird is that? It's like a shower, it's like a tub. And it's like big. You can fit a few people in there. Us Kentucky folk are, whoa, that's that room again. Us Kentucky folk are pretty friendly folk. I'm gonna show you this. 
This is one of my favorite parts of the house, really. This is like a tiki bar or something. Get the rusty tin on the ceiling, very cool. It's just got this funky, artsy, tiki bar kind of feel. Look at the windows are yellow and blue and green and purple and heck yeah. Barn with a brick fireplace. I like it. I would spend a lot of time out here, I'll tell you. Brick tile and then right on out to the deck. All right, I'll show you the rest of the house, come on. There's a big living room. I mean, it's like the whole first floor in width. This is where you'd have your guests come in, of course. Right? I was just being goofy going through the garage. Circle drive. Nothing better than circle drive. And this one goes around the back to the barn, etc., etc. You saw this in the aerials. If not, I'll put a little second of it here. Yeah, see, two fireplaces. This was two rooms at one time. Who knows what it was? If these walls could talk, right? I'm going upstairs. If you love it, you love it. If you don't, you're thinking, oh, I don't like this color blue or I don't like the carpet or whatever. No worries, change it. The things you can't change are location, land, this this property is spectacular. It's got a metal roof. Wait till you see in the back. There's a, there's a spring in the back. It's a high volume spring. It's like a whole creek. It's got a little waterfall. It's small now, but I'm gonna show it to you. You get live water on your property. That's amazing. So we got the home office. We're gonna count that as one bedroom, two bedroom, closet with lights. Three bedroom. Four bedroom. Now, there is what she calls a bunkhouse, which is definitely an apartment. They're out there buzzing around. They said, where can we go so that we're not in the video? I said, well, any place you want, it's your place. And I got that whole house fan. You hit the button, whoosh, it goes right on up. Look at that. Better hold your hat because it's coming off. But in the summertime, that's really nice. You open the windows at night and then she seals right up. I'll show it to you again. There you go. Now there's the second bed, uh, second bathroom. And this one's a little more petite. I'm going to guess about three foot or th three and a half foot. And the other one is at least four feet, four feet, maybe five. I don't know. Very unusual for here. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying it's unusual for here. It's not normal, regular. Is it is a city gas. They should got city gas out here. Oh my God, I can't tell you. City gas fired baseboard okay gas fired hot water baseboard heat system there you go that's the proper term if you're from the northeast baseboard real popular and there's actually an hvac guy right down the road who's fantastic we use them all the time what did, oh the bunkhouse would you not just use this all the time? There's a little air conditioner there. You got a stove, a fridge. Oh, let's check it out. Aha, we got, what is that? Stella Artois in black. What in the world? I've never seen that before. Modelo. All right, these are good folks. Actually, they make their own beer and they make their own wine, both. So we're automatically brothers and sisters. Love the colors, love the floor, 
Wait till you see the kitchen. What do we got here? Oh, a little linen. Nice. Airbnb income. Daughter-in-law, whatever. They come in the back door. They've got the tiki bar with a stove, with a fridge. Is there a sink here? No. No, there's a sink in there. It's a full kitchen. What am I talking about? Hold on. I, I'm trying to imagine all these things. Like, what would I do with this space besides just use it for myself? And maybe I want to make a little money, a little extra income on the side. Maybe the boomerang kids come, right? Look at that. I like this as well or better than the original kitchen. The, you know, the, the main kitchen. How nice is this? Granite, real granite. It's pretty swanky here. Get marble. And then a stall shower. I love that. Just give me a stall shower. I'm fine. I'm a happy guy. That's not a cheap toilet. Now this could easily be another bedroom, but instead it is a Mondo closet. You throw another bed in there in a heartbeat. I'm just gonna leave all the lights on. I'm just a wasteful guy. Said no one ever. Anybody who knows me, they know that my wife and I invented copper wire by stretching a penny. That's a true story. And remember, frugal doesn't mean you're cheap. Frugal means you don't wanna waste. I should have shown you up in the uh, home office. You can look right down on the paddocks. Now there are several cross fence paddocks and they were explaining it to me and three came up, five came up and nine came up and I'm totally clueless about any of it. So you have to come figure out what you need, divide it off the way you want it and then you got what you need. Metal roof, that's the best. That's a little outside house there. So if you ever, your septic ever backs up or whatever, and you got the Chalupa Poopa, you just go right on over there. So that's the outhouse and that's beehives. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Uh-huh. No. I wonder there's bees there. How am I supposed to run? Hell no. What's wrong with these people? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, power. There is a light. It ain't much of a light, but there is a light. And look at this. This is awesome. Put your little compressor and weed eater and all that stuff. This is perfect. Shut that off. Close that up. I could chew through that lock. Remember that James Bond one with the guy with the teeth? Whew. They banned him from going to Walmart. He was setting off the barcode what do we got here Not like aluminum siding something like that this is the garden shed yep we got hoses and all kinds of stuff and a light she said every building has lights and every field has water and every hydrant works so I'm like okay that works. Let's, let's, not that I don't believe her, but let me show you how nice this is to have this here right next to your garden. And that's a Simmons hydrant. Those are all lead free. The Iowa is the really cool heavy duty one, the orange kind. They are not certified lead free like the Simmons are. How do I re remember the Simmons one? I don't know. There's flagpole out front. You can bet your sweet bippy I'd be flying the American flag and the Kentucky flag. I love this barn. Cinder block, gambrel roof, metal. I believe that to be aluminum or galvalum. You know what galvanized is, right? They put zinc coating on uh, on metal. Well, the galvalum is. They don't use zinc, like this is zinc. They don't use uh, zinc, they use aluminum. All the gates are supported. So you do one of those, and that way your gate's not hanging down, tearing it up. There goes the hay mow. Maybe one day I'll tell you some stories 
when I was a young man in Haymel. All the guys are going, yep. Uh-huh. This is washroom. The drain is right there in the corner. Real handy. Lights, of course. You hang your towels here. More security cameras. I don't know who's going to come around. I can tell you one thing. This is not a an area that needs security cameras, but my wife wants it at our place. I'm like, really? Got another hydrant there. This is a feed room, they said. And there's hot and cold water against the wall right there. Let's go see the water heater. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? It's the basement in the house. It's got it's a little tiny basement. It's not even this big. It's just little tiny, but it's got the water heater and the furnace and stuff like that. Then there's a boiler. It's actually a boiler, Will McLean. That's one of the best you can get. Got one of those, got one of those, got one of those. It's freezing in here. 54 degrees, I have no idea why. Ooh. Yuck. I'm not gonna open that up. It's like cat food or something. Of course, cats keep out the mice. You know how that works. That's some high quality hay right there. You can negotiate some of that. You need to talk to Ken. He can help you with that. So all the stalls I have, everybody's got, everybody's got a light. Now, one thing, oh, they've got two hydrants here so you can fill your buckets and a little hose. I've seen people run PEX, which is so super easy to do yourself, right up here and then just tee it straight down and into the bucket. That way you just turn the faucet on, you don't have to fill with the hose. So that's something that you need to talk to Ken about. Say, hey, Ken, that big mouth video guy of yours gave me a good idea and I need you to come and help me do it. And he'll come down and help you put it in. I promise he will. Needs nothing. Has everything. Am I telling you the right thing? These running sheds are made by the Amish. We will go down there and take a look at them. In case you missed it, at the very beginning, this place is going to be in the 700s. And you couldn't replicate it for that. There's no way. I mean, this is all, you know, that's thick. These are like uh, cattle panels, goat panels. Horses aren't going to get in trouble with that because they do look for trouble, you know. Horse only thinks about two things when it wakes up. Suicide and homicide. Let's go for a walk. There they are. I got I got this on, so just wanted to say hi. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> we out buzzing around. We are on a mission to check the water meter. Got a leak or what? We did have. He fixed it yesterday. Excellent. Today and told me my usage was up. <laughs> go figure. So we're gonna go check and make sure. It's go find it. Anymore. Where's your meter at the at, at, the, road. at the road? The, road. The, the water meter is the gas meters on the house. Um, when I moved here, the gas company cut me off. Wouldn't let me have any gas. They said I had a leak. We couldn't ever find it. They wanted me to put in a new gas line, and I said no. That's too expensive because it was gonna cost a fortune. This would be an all electric house. No problem. See you later. They changed their mind and they ran the new high pressure gas line for me. They ran it inside the existing low pressure line. There you go. Did it for free. Nice. <laughs> that's a win. Yeah, that's what I said. That's a win. Uh, and I've already told them how expensive it is to heat that house. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I didn't, I, I, sh I should have mentioned that. What'd you say on the coldest on of the cold, winter? The coldest of winter barely ever gets above 200. Okay. That is a big house, yeah. Mine's eight times that. <laughs> so, you know, three, 
three three fifty a week sometimes for gas in my house. Yeah, it's horrific. Yeah. City, city gas is really, really cheap. All right, and super. Service, I've never had that interrupted. I've hardly ever had my electric interrupted because guess who lives next door? The guy from RECC, the rural electric guy, lives next door. <laughs> my power's out. His power's out. Oh, yeah, that ain't going to happen. Because there's his power line coming through my property. Sure, that's right. Yeah, so if, his, right. if my power's out, he's over here making sure it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good neighbor to have. And they're a young family. I think they'll be there a long time. They bought the 53 acres that I didn't buy. They mm -hmm. were sold before me. They own all the way over to that bluff line that you can't see unless you climb up on something. Yeah. I'm going to go for a walk. Okie dokie. We're going to get some tools. We couldn't get the manhole cover off out there. Oh, the cover. Well, that's that's first thing, isn't it? Yeah. We couldn't remember how it's Oh. Oh, that's good. halfway between here and the road and a friend of mine and I went in the ditch which put nothing but pecs all the way from the road to the house. Uh, you never have to worry about that again. Yeah. What do you know what size this uh this barn is or this uh the machine itself, shed? The barn itself is 50 wide by 80 long. Nice. And the machine shed is 80 long and 15 feet. There you go. Because we built this after I got here we built this and did not have this. This was smart. Well the people before me they owned those buildings over there. Okay. So they had places to keep their tractors, but they had sold that off, and I didn't have that. And so at first, my tractor and manure sprayer stayed in the barn, which I hated. Mm -hmm. So that first, the, not that first winter, but after that first winter, first thing is spring that we could build. And you can't leave it lay out like I leave mine out. It's terrible. I can't do that. So yeah. I don't know if it matters to you or if it's too much info, but I have security systems here. There's a camera right there. There's some in the barn. There's mm -hmm. also two outside. The Arlo's and all that, yeah. They're not all Arlo. Uh, this is the Tickling. So I forget what it's called. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, I think. Anyway, it's a different system out here um, because the Wi Fi wouldn't reach this far. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, if, if for a seller, if they're interested in leaving that stuff, I'm, I'm okay. going to, to negotiate off that. Um, also, I have an electronic time clock for employees because I have had a staff as, of as many as six at times. So it's, it's on the porch. You may have seen it on the wall. Um, it's an electronic time clock, loads to the net, um, and I can pay my employees even if I'm not home. I can log in, see what they're supposed to get, and I pay them by direct deposit so I can get paid every week. Gee whiz, that's I used great. To, I used to do a paper-based system, mm -hmm. and A, they cheated me with that, and B, I couldn't. If I wrote a paper check, I had to come home. Mm -hmm. This way I can do it by direct deposit. I can pay them on payday regardless wherever I happen to be. Yeah. So oh, that's good. brilliant. And I'm, I'm willing to sell that time clock and you know, let somebody else take care of that because I don't think I'm going to need it. Yeah. And when you have a place like this, you're going to have some help. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to do this without help. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> All All right. Well, that's the cellar. There's another Simmons hydrant. When only the best will do. Now, there's another running shed here. This is, uh, there's different things. I don't know what she's got. And you would know if you're a horse person. I'm not a horse person, but this is the, I don't know, emergency thing or whelping or something. I don't know. Yeah, I know whelping isn't falling. I'm just messing with you. Here's the outside fence, and then there's the inside fence. This is that Centaur, and really it just doing. Supposedly, that's the best horse fence on the planet. Centaur. I'll put a link here. I didn't even know how to spell it. I've seen it before, and it comes in white, too. All righty. Now, I was telling these people... And I never wanted one of them side-by-sides. I told my wife no. And, uh, and then Cindy and the boys, they voted, and we got a red one. And it has been one of the greatest things we've ever done. Now, we got a Jeep and four-wheel drive trucks and all that stuff. But that side-by-side -side has been so much fun. Usually what we use it for is either some gardening stuff 
or coming home, pouring a drink, a Yeti or whatever, getting in that thing and just driving around the farm. Just like these folks do, I'm sure. And he's got all these trails cut in here. He just does it with the lawnmower. The land is really good out here. And it's not rocky at all. But wait till you see this spring back here. I think you're going to really be wow about this. Now, the back line here, which is very common with the stream, comes like this. And then it cuts in and goes that way. That way, that guy's got that part of the stream. And these people, you, have this side of the stream. Does that make sense? So the back line, if there's a stream, it's very often a zigzag. So you can share. This property line is right here. You can see that centaur fence. And then it cuts across right there. But there's a spring house there. It's actually on them. But she has half ownership in the deed. So how that works, I don't know. But anyway, you can figure that out. But you talk about a high volume stream, or sorry, spring. That is your high volume spring. I mean, that's remarkable. We don't have that where I live. I've been doing real estate since 1981. I've ne never seen a spring like this. We've been here since late 80s. I've never seen a spring in Kentucky that is like that. Now, no, it didn't just rain. If it did, it would be cloudy. This is all just absolutely pure, pure water. She had it tested. Again, she's a doctor. She had it tested, and they said it would make excellent vodka. See the little fishes? Ah, that's flabbergasting. Now, she said when it rains, it runs a lot harder. But even the driest of times, it's never been less than this. Pretty crazy. So many, many different special things about this property, but of course, that spring is probably the rarest and one of the most special things. I don't know if I showed you the spring house. It's not much to look at, it's just a little thing, but it was built in the 50s, I think, by FSA. Yeah, it's just a little block thing, and it's coming out there, it's coming out here. And there you go. Eventually, that runs into the Green River, and the Green River is a big deal. I'll put here what it does, how long it is, where it goes. But there again, a lot of recreation on the Green River. Where are we here? There we go. Over here. The little gate. Actually, that's a big gate on a small hole. Oh, the spring house is right there. just kicked up. I hope it's not doing goofy things with the audio. And walk all the way around. If you wanted to put another house out here, no problem. Build you a fancy house back here. Use that as a, as a guest house or hired man's house or for your daughter or son or whatever. Or just the opposite. If you wanted to throw another house back here, you could literally have a house right here. You're nowhere near your back line. Remember, the back line's down by the creek. 
and you'd have all the privacy in the world. They couldn't see you. You're on the other side of the barn. You couldn't see them. Depends on how much you like your kids. I think, what they say? Five running shafts? There's four. Might even be more than that. Five, I'm thinking. Oh, the one's right there behind the barn. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. That's all of them. I say that with such authority. I didn't even look at my notes yet. I gotta do that. <laughs> I hope you can hear. There's a neighbor. You hear that? Like that? That's a red tailed hawk. If you do that near horses, there he is. Uh, if you do that near horses, that will get their attention. I don't know why. You know, surely a horse isn't afraid of a hawk, but you can hear them a mile away. Maybe like that. Now, supposedly, you entomologists or whatever out there, bird just they uh, they don't get a red tail till they're three. So if you see one with a just a with a regular brown or white tail, whatever they have that turns, then that's a juvenile. Juveniles are always making it difficult for everybody. <laughs> Even the hawks. God, what a picture! perfect day and a picture perfect place and I'm giving my Fitbit a workout too so here you have your typical real common Kentucky wo not woven wire I guess woven wire like cattle fence and a strand of barbed wire there they are there's two of them you don't see that often Well, bizzle bap. Now, this lady said, this place is ready to go. You just bring horses in, turn the, turn the electric wire on, the boxes, you're done. That's it. It's got municipal water. It's got city gas. Woo Yet you're out here in the middle of nowhere. Cornfield over here. Yay. Cornfield over there. Yay. And then the president of uh, whatever, some big wig at the electric company. That's a good neighbor and friend to have right there. He told me why this is cut in here like this. I don't know why. Everything's all wide and nice. Even in the barn, that's uh, 50 feet wide. So what's a stall, 12 or 16? 12. So you got two stalls, that's 24, and then a 24 inch uh, driveway, 24 foot driveway. Here's my goal, my goal is for you to see properties that our agents represent here in Kentucky and fall in love. Then come talk to our agents. They know the area real well. Most every one of our agents owns commercial real estate here. Most every one of our agents is a transplant. So we understand if you're not from here, you know, all the concerns you have. You know, I came from New Jersey. My gosh, it can't get worse than that. <laughs> so might as well be Russia. If you live in New Jersey, don't worry about it. But anyway, <laughs> people ask me all the time. They say, hey, well, I'd be welcome there because I'm whatever. You know, I'm not from there or some kind of BS. I'm like, good people like good people. We got a plenty of good people here. And if you're a good people, you're going to fit in just perfect. Anyway, that's my sermon for today. This is the track that goes around. But I just want you to know that this is how our agents make a living. When you see property here, Give us a call. If we don't have that property, we'll find you another property. But do business with us. That's how our agents make a living for their families.
we had a lot of people come, oh, I didn't even think about it. Well, I'm here to remind you, we want your business and we'll do anything we can to earn that business. I've been doing it since 81. Ken's been doing it since what, 90, 88 or something. I don't even remember all the statistics. We've been in a long time. Last year, we sold over 100 properties, like 112 or something like that. This year, we've done more. You don't think we've got experience with every little crazy weirdo thing that happens oh my gosh you're dealing with people you're dealing with big money <laughs> you're dealing with two sets of people the buyer and the seller crazy things happen all the time just did a home inspection on a house the sellers moved out had everything shut off what were they thinking they were told anyway the new agent comes in with the new home inspector I go i can't do anything everything's off okay let's find another property are you out of your mind like that is a new agent i'm just telling you I have no idea what this is, but it's some kind of a training track. And it's got this, it, maybe it's class I sand. Looks like concrete, I know, but walking on it is more like walking on beach. Little tiny pebbles, size of peppercorns. I don't know what all this stuff is here. Oh, it's for jumping and stuff. I'm not gonna walk all the way down there for that. It's jumping stuff. Do I look like I jump? No. Look how soft it is. I told you the hippopotamus effect, right? Look at that. Woo. I'm going to need to bring my broom next time. You're going to find plenty of places like this around Lexington. But who can afford that? I mean, let's be honest. You're competing with royalty, literally monarchs, like shakes and stuff. They own big properties up there. International business people that have multiple jets, like real jets, like Citation 5, Citation 6. That's a real jet. Not like one of them little ones that... I can't afford either. Oh, you can't compete with that. But here, this is doable. You're out in the country. Oh, and by the way, if you fly, you're literally three miles, four miles, two miles maybe, air miles, to the Campbellsville Airport. Well, there she is. A gorgeous show property that you can afford. I had this built in about 2016 because there was no place in the barn to store very much horse feed. So I, I have a half a pallet at a time, which is 20 bags of horse feed. And then I also had goat and feed and dog food and stuff in here. I just back it up and load it in here. And because of the way it's built, I have never had a mouse chew into a feed bag in here. Fantastic. Is, and I keep my bird seed from the bird feeders underneath. Perfect. That's right here. It's right behind the tool shed. Yep. I did not see this. I'm glad you pointed it out actually take it with me when I moved, but we decided it'd be easier to build a new one. <laughs> Maybe. Got it. You do have to be careful. The guy that built it built this really clever little latch, and I just know one of these days some foolish person is going to not know this <laughs> and break it. But... Seals up tight, no mice get in. Perfect. It is, it's been really, it's been a, a boon to me because before we had to go every week to buy horse feed. Every single week we would run out. This way, I have lots and I don't run out. So what's the deal with the uh, outhouse and the beehives back there? The outhouse, when I first moved here, that building at the road, because it was the bus stop for Makes the family sense. that lived here, we loaded it on a trailer, brought it back here, put a new roof on it. We put those windows. It had windows, but they didn't open. So we got old RV windows, and now we have windows that open, and uh, put a composting toilet in it. It's my outhouse, so my employees don't have to come tripping in and out of the house with their muddy boots. There you go. To go to the bathroom. I like it. I love it. It has been. I just feel a little uncomfortable doing anything with my pants with all them bees there. Well... Do you want me to show you? No. <laughs> they won't bother you. I, sw I swear they will not bother you. I can weed eat. I can weed eat to the fronts of the hives. And they don't do anything. They don't care. Ah, that's awesome. They do not care. We Actually, need bees. I, <laughs> I can also tell you a lot about trees because I planted most of the trees here. That's a deodor cedar. They, they get to be like 120 feet tall. That is a white pine and it was my Christmas tree. The first year I was here, I had a pot in a pot in the living room. <laughs> Look at it now. Gee whiz, it's over the roof of the barn. Yep, it's, a, it's beautiful. All the white pines along the driveway, I planted those. If you look in the fence line, you'll see bigger trees and then you'll see some very nice pyramidal trees. Mm -hmm. Those are sweet gums. They are babies of the tree I call grandpa. This is grandpa here. And oh, he wow. has babies and I pick them up and transplant them 
back there, so I now have those trees. They were this tall when I planted them. And you know they're hardy if they came from him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how old that tree is, but it's a, it's a good one. It's a sweet gum, my most favorite beautiful tree in the fall because they turn every color. Purple, orange, red, yellow, all in one tree. Really? Yeah, beautiful trees. Wow. Beautiful trees. The only I did bad not thing about that. them is that their seed pods are those little pokey balls. Oh, yeah. If you like to run around barefoot but on a farm, who runs around barefoot? It's not safe. Um, in the front of the house are the tri-trunk uh, river birch. Planted those also. They're beautiful. Uh, they are beautiful. Like they paper. Were, they the, were this tall when I put them in. They have like the papery bark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this a holly behind here? Yes, that is a holly, an American holly. And actually the, in front of the house there is an American holly that was planted by the people who built the house. When, when I first moved here, there was a man uh, who was hospitalized. And that's how I met him because I took care of him in the hospital. And his daddy had bought this farm in 1930. And had lived here he lived here for years but while he was a little boy still one day two little old ladies drove up the driveway and asked if they could look around because their daddy had built the house and one of the things that they did while they were here but they looked at that holly tree and tried to find initials they had carved they said the only beating their daddy ever gave them in their whole lives was when they carved their initials in that tree because he had planted that tree so that tree's 170 years old I warn people don't park under it unless you want to collect on your insurance because one of these days it's coming down. <laughs> We've had a lot of it cut off to reduce the damage when it does come down. It was huge when I first came here. You couldn't drive a big truck back here because it was over the driveway. Wow. So we had the tree guys in here and had it trimmed back quite a bit. But it's been seven years old and we never could find her initials. We, we looked and looked and looked. And we couldn't find <laughs> That was an interesting story. sometime soon I haven't seen it yet but um, she, she did a, a book on historic properties in the area and so she came and interviewed me and took pictures and she told me other things about about the area and um, what the house was probably like when it was originally constructed this when I first came here this sidewalk ended there was a pump right there in fact I still have the old fashioned pump um, it didn't work anymore but probably there was a well there and she she figured probably the kitchen was in a separate building that was out here somewhere. We don't know for sure. We think the outhouse actually was over there because when I first came here, there was an entire row of lilac bushes and people used to plant lilacs near their outhouse to cover the smell. Oh, I'll be darned. Yeah. Makes um, sense. Since since I've been here, they were, they were old when I got here and they were in pretty bad shape and then my goats like lilacs. Oh yeah. So goats only, like anything. Only one left. <laughs> oh, that's a stinker. Goats ate the rest of the lilacs. Would you write that stuff down? Yeah, I'm sure the next person's going to love it as much as you have. I planted the apple tree, the big one, is was already here, but I planted two cherries, a tart cherry and a sweet cherry and a peach, and they all bear. The little hoops over there are over blueberry bushes, and they bear, but you have to keep them covered or the deer will eat them. The deer come and they just bite the whole bush off at the ground. Um, so I have to put that. And then the two yellow poplars I planted. So this is the outside house, huh? Yeah, this is the outhouse. Excellent. There's the bees. Going on, I'm just now, telling you. There's a wasp in there. That would be now. A wasp, yeah, that yeah. would. That's cute. In wine, there's truth. In beer, there's strength. In water, there is bacteria. Ain't that the truth? Take over the world. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All right, where's this one? This is the one. Now I like that one. I want that sign. When I first built this, I said I should put a microwave in here and rent it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. And it's composting. Yep. That works. Well, there you go. You've seen the entire farm, but you haven't seen the aerial. So hold on just a second. I just wanted to let you know, when you come here to Kentucky, please make an appointment ahead of time because we want to take care of you, show you around, and our agents want to help represent you. We've got some super knowledgeable agents who specialize in these unique properties. Give us a call. We want to represent you. Just remember, we've got your back, and it doesn't cost you a dime. The sellers pay them.